Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. How have you guys been? I've been gone a while. I know, I've been creating quite a bit. I have some new stuff today. I wanted to, hang on, you're crooked. I wanted to show you, there's six new things today that I wanted to show you that I wanted to get out before the new set of templates, which if you wait till later in the video, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of the new set of templates. I'm not 100% done, but the templates are done uh, themselves. I just need to fine tune some things. I've got some mock-ups done, not done done, but anyway. I may or may not make a full-blown prototype. I may use the paper collections that I showed you in a previous video. I may use those in making of the album. So, because I feel like, because there's the new set of templates, there's four ways well, there's three. <laughs> I can't really say a whole lot without like spilling all the beans, but the new set of templates, there's like three different things and there's two different ways to do two of the things. <laughs> so I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm probably making it more complicated than it needs to be. I have been having a hard time with that lately, just over explaining or not being able to explain myself well. But anyway, they're almost done. I have named it. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but anyway, okay. Okay. So if you wait till later, I'm going to show you a quick flip. So how have you guys been? Have everybody been okay? <laughs> I've missed you guys. I get so heavily involved in creating sometimes that I don't, I just don't even realize how much time has passed. Um, but anyway, so let's just get on with it. So I've got six new things. Uh, one of the things I already talked about in Facebook, my Facebook group. So, I, oh, that's, that's another thing that reminds me about my Facebook group. I am moving all of my freebies back into my Facebook group for now, and I may make a listing in Etsy for those if you don't do Facebook. Um, I took them off of Buy Me A Coffee. That it's, I, I already told everybody in my Facebook group, but Buy Me A Coffee, there's been something weird going on. I don't know. They quit taking PayPal and stuff, and I don't, I don't know. So, I took them all out of there. So I'm going to move them all to my Facebook group and maybe make an Etsy listing. I don't know. I haven't had time to do any of that except I took them off of the Buy Me a Coffee. Also, it is March and I have been out in the garden quite a bit. And like yesterday, I trimmed my roses back and I've got a bunch of, of scratches on my hands from the rose bushes. <laughs> so pay no attention to my hands and my nails. I, I'm letting my nails grow off. Right now, because in the garden, I was, whoops, I was um, breaking them a lot. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to let my nails grow off. So my hands are going to be weird looking. I, when I take my nails off, I don't take my nails off. I let them grow off because, you know, your nail beds are so sensitive after you've had acrylics on for quite some time. I mean, I feel like my camera keeps moving, you guys. I feel like it's obsessed. Obsessed or possessed. <laughs> anyway, so I'm letting them grow off, but that also means they look kind of cruddy for quite some time. So don't pay attention to that. I do apologize for their ugliness and my, my scratched up hands and fingers. Whatever. But okay. Um, I've got a lot to tell you guys. So I've talked for five minutes now, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got six new things. And I've also bought some new things. And I'll maybe I'll talk about that here and there as we go. But the first thing, let me move those, all of those out of the way. They're all embellishment type things that we've got these photo mats. And then we've got some new printable papers. Okay, let's start with the photo mats. So what do we got here? These are, this is what the Etsy listing looks like. They're Photomats 2. They're Essentials Photomats 2. They are available. The, the listing has both a PDF with the US letter and a PDF for the A4 size paper, only because these are size sensitive. For example, the largest ones are meant for 4x6 photos. So it's kind of size sensitive a little bit. So I decided to make, I did that with the Photomat, the regular or the original Photomats as well. So these are fun because these are like Polaroid type photo mats 
And I wanted to show you the book that I made. Look at this. I made a, you know how I have, let me show you. This is the photo mats, the original photo mats essentials. And I made this book with the uh, basically amazing scrap journal add-on. So I'm housing all of the photo mats in here. So that's the essentials photo mats. And then back here, I have another book. This is the basically amazing add-on photo mats. So these are a little bit different. The basically amazing add-on photo mats have the background designs on them where the essentials do not. Okay. So that was the, the photo mats, the original essentials photo mats. And then this is the photo mats too. So I made me a book to house these as well because they're different. And so what I did, I did sew, I sewed a lot this time. And I'll, let me, let me just explain what I did. I took this page, actually, I took the first page in the new photo mats and I, I printed it on a 13 by 19 sheet of cardstock. Let me open it up really quick, show you. So I printed it, I, I said to print on the 13 by 19 uh, cardstock and then I unclicked fix page so that it wouldn't cut anything off. And this is the size that I got. So this ended up being, I would say it's 13 by, oh my, let's see, 10 and 3 fourths. So it ended up being pretty big, but I sewed all the way around and I have two layers. So I backed it with one of the printable papers and sewed that together. So then the pages, I just, you know, took this measurement and made pages. So then I sewed three pockets, no four, I did four pockets per page. And the pockets themselves are like two and a quarter. Let me show you what I used too, because this is what I had. I had to order some vellum, but I used this, this uh, Duralar, um two-sided matte film is what it is. So it's not completely clear and it's a matte and it's thicker than uh, vellum but it's not as stiff as like acetate, like thick acetate or anything, but you can see, you can see through it, but it's thicker. So I sewed these on to the pages and I really like it and it doesn't tear. So I did like two and a quarter pockets. So I, me I measured and so that way front and back so I could sew them. So I sewed all the way around the bottoms of all the pockets, all the way around the uh, edges. So I just made me a book to house all the different, um, all of the different sizes, okay? So these, I'd already cut all these out because I was gonna show you them individually, but then I was like, well, that, that'll be hard. So I'll just show you the pages and I'll just show you my book, so, right? Isn't that cool? I just think it's so cute. Okay, I love stuff like this. This makes me wanna grab it and pull things out of it. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm gonna put it up though, for now. All right, so here's all the pages. I'm sure in my Etsy listing, I tell you how many pages there are, but I don't remember. So these are for a four by six photo. So you'd put a four by six photo in where the black area is. So you can cut them out individually. You can cut it together and fold it in half and make like a booklet or a double sided. I just thought it was, um, good to keep them close together like that so this has script on it and it's meant to look like a, an actual like polaroid type with the black you know kind of a polaroid so there and each size comes in four colorways so we've got the black we've got the kind of like the um vintage look right and then we got nothing so it's just plain and so you could put your four by six photo there. It could be, you could attach this as your photo mat, or you could put decorative paper there, whatever you want to do. You could print that onto decorative paper, print, uh, pattern paper. And then we've got this vintage uh, scripty one. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. My camera is, my, my viewfinder isn't showing it up very well. Showing it up isn't showing it very well. So each one comes in those four different colorways. And then this one is, so that's the portrait version. 
and this is the landscape version. So again, this is still for a four by six photo, but now it's in the landscape version. So you've got that part down here to where you put all your information. So uh, a little tip too for the black one. These, I think this set was printed on my laser, but in my, in, in my other printer, my inkjet, this prints kind of weird. So I had to go in and make a special setting for the black Polaroid one because it printed kind of green or blue or something. It wasn't like a black and white, like black and gray, like I wanted it to be. So I had to kind of make a special setting for just these black ones. So you may want to look around. I think I put that on the listing somewhere or even maybe in, um, in I forget. I kind of put that somewhere. I don't remember where. <laughs> but anyway, you may want to check. So don't print them all out really quick. Maybe just print one page to see what your black and white is going to look like to make sure it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, so there is the black. There's the Distress Vintage one. And there is the plain one. And then there is the scripty. This could also be folded in half to make a booklet or a double-sided photo mat insert kind of thing. And then these are for the three by four photo sizes. So this is the portrait version. And you can, you can make a booklet, you could, you could split them up, whatever you want to do. So there's that one. And then the vintage, the plain, then the scripty vintage. And then this one is the landscape version of the three by four. So you couldn't, I couldn't fit four of these on here. So I ended up adding, these are four by four, I think. No, these are three by three photo mats. So this would, this square here is a three by three. So there's two of those there because I didn't want to waste the space when, you know, that's a really cute size for an embellishment. So I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> so it comes with the black, uh, of course, and then there's the distressed vintagey one. There's the plain one, and then there is the scripty vintagey one, right? And then this one is four by four square. So there's the four by six. There's the three by four. There's the four by four square. There is the three by three square, and then there's a two by two square. So these are two by two squares on this side here. So these come again with the, the four by four square is the black, the inside part, not this outside part. So again, we got the black, we've got the distressed vintage. We've got the plain, when I, I don't have any nails so I can't get, get under it. And then we've got the vintage scripty one. And then here is a full sheet of the three by three squares. And there's that one, there's the plain, there is the vintage script. These are printed onto, um, this is 28 pound cardstock. So uh, either this or 20 pound or even lighter if you're just going to put a photo mat onto a page and then you plan on putting a photo on top. Um, and then here is the 2x2, two two, which is a super adorable, isn't that the cutest size? So again, the black, the vintage, the plain, and the vintage scripty one. And then as a bonus, I added this sheet. Boy, I can tell I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> I've recorded for a few more minutes and didn't record it. Perfect. <laughs> but I'm not even sure what all I said. I'm sure I said a lot, and now I don't even remember. But anyway, I do remember thinking or talking about the bonus sheet. So this is actually from the Wanderlust. Oh, that was my, my selfie. This was from the Wanderlust, and this is the bonus sheet, and it comes in all four colorways. But I, I keep getting asked a lot, a lot, a lot to separate out some of the cool elements from other sets of templates in future projects. Like, uh, for example, the new template that I'm working on now, we're going to be using some of the elements from other templates that are kind of like embellishments and things like that. And I got to thinking about it and I thought, you know what, that people ask me all the time to separate some things out. So part of what I'm releasing today is from that notion to separate things out so that they can be used for other projects without having to buy the other thing, you know, the other set of templates. 
So I've kind of done a little bit of that. I've added a bunch of new things to things. Well, anyway, you'll see as the video goes on. So this is one of those things. So this is kind of like a bonus sheet for this set, for this photo mats too. And it's from the Wanderlust. I don't know what the measurements are, but it comes in all the colorways. Um, and it's five different sizes. And some of you might remember this page, but anyway, so there it is in the black and there it is in the vintage and then the plain and then the vintage scripty page. Right? Okay, so, but I do know, I was telling you all, let me show you. This is actually, I've misspoke. This is actually printed from my inkjet printer and I'm gonna show you the difference. Um, there's my inkjet printer because I had this pile sitting here uh, underneath there and this was from the laser printer. So there's the difference between my two printers. Can you see? This one is definitely more grayscale looking and this one is definitely more of a warm black look to it, which I love this look uh, as well. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference between the two printers. So you may want to play around with your settings just a little bit because even before I played around with my settings, you should have seen the way it looked. It was awful. It was, it was horrendous. So you may want to look, um, and then you can save those special settings. So that's what I've done. I did, I think I saved it as a black Polaroid so that I remember to use that setting whenever I'm printing them in my inkjet, but this is what it looks like on my laser. So, but anyway, I did want to point that out to you guys. So it does make a difference. Your printers do make a difference. Not all printers are the same. Okay, so there's the photo mats. Now let's move on to the next thing. And hopefully I'll get better at this recording stuff. But we got a bunch to go through, so I need to, I need to go a little quicker. <laughs> okay, next up. I have a full set of printable postcards. So this is one of those things that was part of the basically amazing add-on scrap journal. So four of these pages, or four of the postcard styles are from the add-on scrap journal and four of them are new. So there is the Etsy listing, printable postcards, and also I have added a jumbo size because I absolutely have been loving this jumbo sized idea and you'll see more of that as we go. So here is the printable postcards. I had already, this is how many there are. I have already cut them all out um, and ready to go. So printable postcards, that's, what's, that's what my laser printer looks like. You see how, I don't know why, but I always like to see the difference in the two. So this is what the Etsy listing looks like, right? Um, my laser printer is definitely more uh, dense, dense, intense, uh, saturated versus my inkjet. All right, so we're gonna be looking at, um, I think I printed this off on my laser, yeah. So here, this is the jumbo jumbo size. So let me show you in comparison what the difference is. I don't have these in any order. So there is the largest size from the basically amazing add-on scrap journals. So the difference is huge, right? But this is such a fun size. These could be a page on their own. These could be a jumbo insert, a tag. A journaling card. I just, the idea of it is just fun to me. Okay. So we've got the jumbo size. So this page is from the basically amazing scrap journal or not this page, this, this card. Um, the jumbo size is not in the basically amazing at all. And then this page, this is the original size. So this is from the basically amazing add on scrap journal, but I've added it into this new set of printable postcards. So we've got the, this size, which is kind of like a normal postcard size. And then we've got this kind of like a medium size. And then we've got this little teeny tiny size. So every postcard comes in the now comes in the jumbo and the regular size. And then there's a medium size and then there's a tiny size. So you get all of these different cards um, for each postcard style. So this one was from the Basically Amazing, um, and I didn't alter this at all. And then this one is new. So this one's kind of like a bluish color, 
right? This is a new, this is the jumbo one, and this one is new. It's got this embossed pattern on there. It's just really, really pretty. I think it even says Christmas on the back there. But it says a joyful Christmas and a happy new year. Anyway, I just thought it was sweet. Uh, so this is the jumbo. So this is a new, this is a new brand new page. And then this is the other sizes of that new page or that new, these two new postcards. Okay. And then this one is from the scrap journal, basically amazing add on scrap journal, but the jumbo page, right? And then this is the original. And then these two are new. So this is fun. This one's got a blue stamp and this one's got like a purpley one. Right? Isn't this fun? I, I love the coloring of these two. So this is the jumbo and then this is the, the, the regular size, the medium and the tiny. So cute. And then this one is the jumbo version of, of this one. This one was part of the Basically Amazing. Right? So jumbo version. And then this is the original version. This is new. This is got some green to it, and this is the jumbo version. And then this is the regular size, the medium, and the tiny. I just love having all the sizes. This one is the jumbo version of the original from the Basically Amazing. And then I sat here and cut all these out except for the jumbo ones. I cut all of these out sitting there watching TV with my husband one night, <laughs> sitting on the couch, it was fun. Cause it's a lot, there's a lot. Um, so there's the original. This one's new. This one is a jumbo version. And then that's, I liked it the more of the plain, the, the plainer ones too, because it says, in remembrance of your birthday. Oh. Um, because you can do a lot, you can do a lot of embellishing with these uh, plainer ones, but I love postcards as embellishments. And then here's the regular size, medium and tiny version of that. And that's it. Did I get all of them? Was that all of them? I'm gonna double check really quick, because there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be 16 pages. Let me let me check really quick. Yep, that's all 16 pages. I don't know, I guess these were just extra that I printed or something, I don't know. Um, but all these things will be linked down below in the description box to my Etsy shop. They're all available in my Etsy shop right now. But anyway, so these are just fun. Look at these, look how big these are. Is that not fun? These are gonna make great inserts they're gonna make great pages like you could literally fold this in half and put it in a signature and or fold it in half and has it have it as a little tuck pocket or or whatever these are just gonna be fun you can put two together with some washi tape and have a page an actual postcard page or you can print this out onto cardstock and leave it attached together and just cut around the edges and then you have your stuff a postcard page all right so these are just fun, 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 fun. So these are the printable postcards that are available in my Etsy shop. And that's what the listing looks like. And then to go along with these postcards, I have these fun embellishments, which are printable embellishments, canceled postage stamps. So, let me move those aside. So these are super fun. Let me show you up close. This is what the listing looks like. There are nine different stamps and three different sizes. Okay, so that's what the listing looks like. That's what it looks like. Inkjet laser. <laughs> so this is the smallest size. So the smallest size is bigger than a postage stamp. So I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that. These would be fun to print onto uh, laser, or laser label paper or sticker paper and have an instant sticker. So there's orange and there's this, uh, it's almost like a wine color and there's this pretty green and there's blue and there's yellow and there's purple. Um, and then there's like this red and pink. So on this page, there's two of each, but it, this is a larger size, right? So that's fun. 
and then this is even larger. So these, these are the nine stamps, but it obviously is taking up the full page where there's two on each, uh, two of each on this page. So this is the next size up, right? Look at how fun. Okay. And then there's a jumbo, <laughs> jumbo size. So there are, there's all of the stamps in a jumbo form. They are just so much fun. Um, and here they are on my inkjet. So see the difference. There's a big difference in the coloring between the two. So, you know, I've got more options that way as well. So I think I printed them all out. Whoops on my inkjet yeah so this page here i wanted to show you i got me a new thing i got me a new machine i got me a brother scan and cut i know i know i've been having so much fun i don't really know how to use it but i've been trying so i learned how to make a half cut and this is printed onto what is this this is just avery uh, label paper, white label paper. Look, look, look at that. So I, I scanned it and cut it out and look at how awesome that is. <laughs> I've been having so much fun. I'm not gonna lie. What's this one? This one's just on cardstock. This one, laser. Is this? Yeah. All the rest of these are just on regular paper, but, um, Anyway, look at, look at how fun, okay? So I will link the one that I got if you guys want to investigate it and tell me about it and tell me what I need to know about it. Um, I just think that was so fun. So let me show you, let me show you the jumbo because this is just so fun to me. I don't know, I'm just so excited about it. Look at this, is this not cool? These, I did scan these in the, in the Brother Scan and Cut did cut them out for me. Look at that. Look at that. These are going to make fun embellishments. They're going to make fun inserts. You can even use them on the postage card. So this is the, look, it didn't even, it didn't even cut it out right, but I think it's adorable. I, don't, I just love this. I love this. Okay, so this is the jumbo. Yeah, that's the jumbo, right? Fun. And then in here, I think it's the, the second, the middle size. So here's the largest piece. Let me show you the two side by side. So there's the jumbo and then here's the next size down. So anyway, it's just fun. It's just fun. Okay. So those, those of these have all been cut out by the scan and cut as well. They can be cut out with paper trimmer. They can be cut out with that Tim Holtz. Let me show you. The Tim Holtz Deckled Edge Paper Trimmer. I did that with the large postcards. I used this to just give it a little something something. So they can be trimmed out with something like that. I will try to link that below as well. Um, but anyway, so these are fun. This is a great little size for embellishments, right? So there's the medium size. And then here is the smallest size. Oops, I got other things in here I haven't showed yet. And I think uh, there's two sets in here. One's just on cardstock and one's on sticker paper. So let me grab the same one. So this one, this one is the smallest, this one's the medium, and this is the jumbo. So there's the three sizes, right? Is this not fun? It's so fun. So these I printed on cardstock and then I printed on to label paper um, and had the brother scan and cut, cut it out. But I didn't know about the, the half cut yet. So these are fine too because it's easier to peel these back. But if you have a full solid sheet on the back, it's harder to get the sticky, you know, get the release paper off. But isn't that fun? Is that not fun? Okay, so these are available in my Etsy shop as well as a separate. I thought about adding these into the postcards, but then I decided, I told myself, Jennifer, maybe not everybody wants all the postcards. Maybe not everybody wants the stamps. This way I can keep the cost down just a little bit for you guys. So it won't, you know, if you don't want the stamps, <laughs> you don't, you know, you don't have to add the added cost. Um, 
in there if you don't want them. Okay, so they're all available on their own. You know, the stamps and the postcards are available separately. So anyway, these are fun. So let's see. So that's what, three? I've got three down, three to go. So fun. These are so fun. I've been having a ball with these. Okay. Okay, next up are printable envelopes and bags. So basically it's uh, envelopes and glassine bags. So the, some of these are from the basically amazing add-on scrap journal and some of them are new. So there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pages of this and uh, I think the Etsy listing looks like this. I think that's what the Etsy listing looks like. So let me go past that really quick and then we'll show you what's included. And I've already cut them out and put together a whole set so you can see what they look like. Okay, might have helped if I put them in order. Okay, so here's the first one and it's just a little a little um, envelope, a little coin envelope like this. But these have like, it has like scripty, vintagey stuff on them. So this is what they look like put together. Isn't that cute? And then here is a jumbo version. And like I told you, I've been digging this jumbo idea. So here's what this looks like all put together. So there's about the size of it. Um, this is a really good size for tags and things. Oops, I might have to change my battery. And then here's the version that doesn't have any script on it. So uh, they don't all come this way. Not all of them are in here, but some of them do. So this has just got like the vintage -y look to it. And then the first one had the script on it. And so there's those. And then here's a jumbo glassine bag. And this is what this looks like put together. See how tall it is? This is gonna be so fun. This is gonna hold some long, tall tags, right? It's perfect. It's got script and vintage uh, look to it. And then, sorry, I'm losing my voice. And then this one. This one is kind of like a standard glassing bag size, um, except it's got like the vintage-y look to it. So that's what that one looks like put together. And then here is a glassine envelope. So it looks like this when it's all put together. So I think, does this one have a plane? I don't think it does. This is as plain as it gets, I think. So there's that one. And then here's one with script on it. Whoops. So that's that same, same envelope. It's just got a little bit of script added to it. A little large script from an old ledger. So there's that one put together. And then here's a smaller version of the glassine um, envelope put together, but it's got script on it, an overlay of some script. And then here's the smaller version of the glassine bag. But, oh, here it is. So it looks like that. So this is just printed onto, I think this is 20 pound copy paper. Oh, and this one's glued together. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. So there's those. And then there's another version of that with some different script on it. So there is the glassine envelope right there. And then the glassine bag right there. Isn't that the cutest size? That's like the perfect size for embellishments as well. And then this one is brand new, brand new, I think. And it is a glassine envelope. It's just a little mini one. That's what I have my stamps in. And this one has script on it, and this one goes two ways. So the script is running this way and this way. So depending on how you're using it in your journals. So there's those two and your albums and stuff put together. And then you have the plain version with just some vintage, um, vintage, it's just a vintage -y version of the glassine envelope, right? So there's all of those fun envelopes and bags. And those are available as a separate listing in my Etsy shop. And uh, okay, we got two more things. Okay, next up, 
is this is called printable random embellishments and this is what the Etsy listing looks like so some of these elements are from the basically amazing add-on script journal some of them are brand new some of the elements that are from the other set of templates have been modified or tweaked or changed as well so there's a bunch of different uh, things included in here and I have cut them all out as well and I'll try to show you as we go we'll see we'll see how that goes so first thing first fun thing is these jumbo labels I told you I've been loving the idea of the jumbo these are just gonna make some really fun well, they could be a label, they could be on a cover, they could be anywhere, they could be a tag, they could be a pocket, they could be anything. They could be an insert, they're just fun. You could poke a hoe and put a ribbon, you know, they could, they could be anything. Again, they're just fun. There's six different colors, um, and I've already cut them out. They're super, I, I hand cut these out, they're super easy to, to cut out. Um, so these will be listed down in my description box and they'll be available in my Etsy shop. So there is the jumbo labels. And then this is also from the add-on scrap journal. These are the guest check and, and tickets. And I have them in the pile, but I'll show you the other versions that I have in here. So this version, I have tweaked it. I've added vintage stuff to it. I've taken some things off of the page. Um, but yeah, so this is a new addition. And then I took the tickets and I made jumbo tickets. So let me show you those. I think there's the original tickets. There's the uh, vintage tickets. And then here is the jumbo tickets. Is that not cute? Would that not be a cute uh, embellishment? Uh, you could add things to it. You could use it as an insert. You could use them as tags. You could use them as You could use them as like a tab on the side of the page super cute, right? So there's the jumbo version Here is the vintage version of the guest check and then here's the original version of the guest check. So uh, Yeah, anyway fun, right? Okay. I love stuff like this. This is like, and, and I know you can get this original um, ephemera and things, which is great as well. Um, I have a lot of original vintage ephemera, but sometimes, you know, you just don't want to use it. So this way you can print it 5 million times and you're good to go. So these are the slides, the vintage photo slides. And I tweaked them there, some of these were part of the add-on scrap journal, but I've tweaked them quite a bit. So they're not the same as the ones that were in there. Um, but they have script on them, and I added the black in there, kind of like the Photomats 2, right? And I just think they're super cute. So this is like a regular size. This is a little bit bigger than an actual photo slide. But then, look at the jumbo ones. Aren't these fun? Jumbo photo slides. Let me show you those. Sorry, I had to, thought I heard somebody at the door. So here's the smaller size, right? So I just, what I did was I cut it out together and folded it in half to make a double-sided. And then here's the jumbo. Isn't this fun? I, I reused the page. <laughs> that that might have been, that look, that's the color before I tweaked the black on my inkjet. That, that was the color. <laughs> so... So anyway, so these are gonna be fun embellishments to use too. Cause you can, you can either put a picture there, you could cut out the slot there and have a transparency and have something stuck inside. You can just use it as an embellishment, add flowers, butterflies, anything, anything and everything that you can, you can think of. These are just gonna be a fun little jumbo uh, embellishment. So, all right. Then this page is an original from the scrap journal. There's this one of my favorite tags. This, uh, these tags here and then this over here from a little small vintage ledger. So that's the original from the scrap journal. And then here's the jumbo version of that favorite tag of mine. And then some extra tags. So those are 
This is him. Yeah, these are them right there. So these are fun. So a lot of these work together, like these tags will fit into some of the glassine bags and things. Um, but yeah, so here's the original version. And then there's the jumbo version. Isn't that fun? And then there's the jumbo version of the smaller tag. And then, whoops, maybe I didn't cut them all out. I don't. And then here's the jumbo version, right, of the smaller tags. Anyway, just cute. Cute, cute. And then this is an original from the scrap journal. One of my favorite tags to use as well. And then I went ahead and took off these and just made a smaller version of this because I, I like using these plain tags, so I just added that in. And then this is new. This, I've actually had this in the waitings, in the wings, in the back, whatever. I've had these for a while, even before my mom passed away. I had this ready to go. But I wasn't quite sure how to present it. I have, I've tweaked it a little bit since then. But this is a vintage binder that was my mom's. And it's got that old school blue textured, um, I don't know what that was from way back when. You know what I'm talking about? Some of you may know, some of you may not. But it's kind of a fun little notebook idea. So what I've done was, here it is cut out. There's two of them on this page. Here it is cut out. So you score these three lines and then you will attach this part together and then this part will be the booklet. So you would put whatever pages. So let me show you. I've already made a little mock-up. So there I've punched the two holes there and I've run. This is some sorry silk. I have finally got me some sorry silk. I've got me all different colors. Um, yeah. And <laughs> so I had cut it out. I scored it. And then in here, this is just some vintage notebook paper. I stuck in between, in between these two areas here. I stuck it in between, poked holes, and then put the sorry silk, and then trimmed it out to fit, right? So now I've got me a sweet little notebook insert for any project, any album, any journal, any anything. So that was fun. Then I did a taller version so the same thing the same idea except a much taller one i haven't made the actual booklet yet but it's the same idea it's just a taller version so this could be a tall this could go into a traveler's notebook this could go into a pocket as an insert um, whatever you want to do so that is the two sizes of that so that's fun it, oh, these are the smaller versions of the, or these are the smaller versions. These are from the original tag pages um, earlier. And then these two, all of these. I love having these tags. These are one of my favorites to use because they're neutral enough and have just enough character <laughs> to add enough pop to any sort of tag or insert or photo. So these are new. These are tags, um, and they have kind of like that vintage old school. I did take the hole out of them because uh, I wanted you to be able to do whatever you wanted to do with them. So I didn't want there to already be a hole there. Um, so there's six there's six tags on this page, and there's three different texts on on them. So there's two of each text style. So these are fun. These are a good size too. These are a good size for. Um, the glassine bags, the pockets, the, you can put information here. Uh, it's light enough that you can still write over it with like a, a pen, like a black pen or stamp on it or whatever. Right, so there's that. And then there is a jumbo version. Oops. Right, a jumbo version. So it's the same three text or script. It's just in a larger size. So I'm really digging this jumbo idea. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, what's on the back here? Oh, that's weird. Oh, uh, this was an extra that got printed that I didn't cut out. It's in cardstock, but um, so yeah. So that is the random embellishments. Some are from old templates and some are brand new. Okay, I got one more thing and then I'll show you a sneak peek of the new templates.
Okay, last but not least is a new set of vintage style printable papers. So some of these papers are from the add-on scrap journal. So there's eight designs. Four of them are from the add-on scrap journal and four of them are brand new. So I just want to show, here's the Etsy listing for those. Right, so anyway, this is my inkjet and this is my laser. Right, <laughs> can you see the difference? All right, so I'm gonna set my laser version aside. So these are available in eight and a half by 11, 12 by 12, 11 by 17, and 13 by 19. And I've printed all of those off and I will show you an example of every size. But let me show you the prints really quick. So in the eight and a half by 11, it is available in both the portrait and the landscape. So it depends on your project. Like with my templates, you know, a page might be situated where it needs to be up and down, or it might be, the template might be situated where it's up and down like this way. So the top might be here, for example. So you would want the landscape version if you're, print, you know what I'm saying? So I try to do both portrait and landscape when it's a directional thing. So here, this is, I'll show you the first four are gonna be from the scrap journal. So there's this one. So there's both the landscape and the portrait version. And then this one is from the Scrap Journal as well, landscape and the portrait version. Now remember, these a lot of these have my mom's handwriting on them as well, so that's fun. There's a bunch of layers of scripty write, writing and stuff, um, and my mom's writing, and there's probably some of mine in there too. Um, landscape, portrait. This one is from the Scrap Journal as well. There's the landscape and the portrait. I love using this one. I used this paper on the inside cover of my photo map book, book, <laughs> landscape and portrait. And then this one is also from the scrap journal. So there's the landscape version and the portrait. And this one's got the pink and green um, writing from my mom, right? So there's those. And then these are new. So this is a full sheet of those tickets. Isn't that fun? Wouldn't that be a fun page? Um, so you get both the landscape and the portrait. So this is a new one. And then this is a ledger. Uh, this is from that little mini ledger page from the add-on scrap journal. Um, it's actually in the random embellishments. So you get the landscape and the portrait, but it's got like a lot of vintage um, layers on here. I thought these would be fun. Plus I love the pink and the purple and the blue. Um, these are just really good accent papers or background papers or um, to print on back of papers, that kind of thing. These are just a really good complementary neutral set of vintage type papers. Um, and then here's a new one. This one is also um, from one of the embellishments from the add-on scrap journal. So it was the phone name address page. So you get both the landscape and the portrait version. Right, and that would be a fun uh, page to add to your journals. You could literally, in this, you could use this in a traveler's notebook, fold it in half, you know, um, just like that. And you can put your information there or your journaling there. So that's fun. And then the last page is this one. And this was from one of the embellishments from the scrap journal as well. But I liked it. It was, it's from like an old check register kind of thing, a checkbook register, a vintage checkbook register. So I thought this would also be fun to use as lines in your albums and journals. So you get the landscape and you get the portrait. All right, let me show you the other sizes. I did print them all out. Um, let me move. I printed each page out, but you know, you obviously don't have to. So. There's the eight and a half by 11. So they're all in separate PDFs, by the way. So if you have no desire to print anything, if you're, first of all, if you don't have a printer that prints 13 by 19, you can take these things to your office stores or printer places, print places, and um, have them print them for you if you want. And you can take your own cardstock if you want, or you can use their cardstock. Um, but I would check around uh, for better pricing if, if you can, because sometimes it's a little ridiculous. But if you're going to go have something printed, a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock is going to cost you the same as the 13 by 19 to have it printed at an office place. So just FYI. 
Um, so this is the 12 by 12 version. And the reason I do the 13 by 19 is because the, most people's printers do not print to the edge. So this is a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, but there's a white border all the way around. So they're all, um, so the format is, you know, obviously for 12 by 12. So I printed all of them off. So if you like to use 12 by 12 cardstock, they're all, um, there's the 12 by 12. I don't have to show you every page and every size, do I? And so here is the 11 by 17. This is one of my favorite pages or, or sizes to use. So the reason I have them set up in different formats, I should also explain this, is that way the scale stays the same. This is actually upside down. So whether you're using an eight and a half by 11 or you're using a 11 by 17, the scale of the print is the same. So that's why I go ahead and do different formats for you guys. So this is a 11 by 17 size and I use this a lot, believe it or not. I use this a lot because in the scrap journal, for example, the basically amazing, you know, it's a very large, very large album. So I would use these pages like this um, because this is 11 by 17 is two eight and a half by 11. That's what it is. So you can fold it in half and there you go. You have a very large journal page. So there is the 11 by 17. It takes up the whole screen there um so i did i printed all of them off um on the 11 by 17. this is 80 pound paper um, i will try to link um the different paper sizes actually i'll try to link them but then i'll also try to man, i don't know if i want to make a special list for that i'll just try to link everything for you in the in the description box along with the etsy listings so there's the 11 by 17 and then whoop there's another 11 by 17 <laughs> right there and then here is the 13 by 19. now what i did differently with this set of papers for the 13 by 19 instead of doing an oversized 12 by 12 and two six by sixes i just did the full sheet um the same so the scale of the paper is the same it's just 13 by 19 um so there's more of it on here so this would be good like if you're wanting to cover big journal covers, you know, in one fell swoop, depending on the size. Um, but anyway, so 11 by 17. So if, you know, if you need more of that print, you've got it. See, this is really hard to show. So there's, oops, do I have it upside down? So there's that page. There's that page. And that one. There's the tickets. There's a lot of tickets. There's the ledgery looking one. There's the name, address, phone. And then there's the vintage checkbook register one. All right, so that is the last new thing I have right now. So we've got the printable, oops, vintage printable papers that'll be linked down below. So that's all six new things I've got. And now are you guys ready for a sneak peek? Sneak peek? Okay, hang on. Okay, so if you've stayed this long, you deserve a sneak peek, don't you? I'm sorry this video is so long, but I had a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of things I wanted to show you. Right, I think you're crooked once again. So, I've just got mock-ups. And I've only really done one of the covers, so that's funny. So, ah. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you I guess I don't have to explain anything do I <laughs> I mean I guess I don't know I'm scared I don't want to I don't want to ruin my secrets okay here's here's a sneak peek this is one of the mock-ups and that reminds me look here I've got one of the postcards right here in front in this little front pocket I've got one of um, my vintage envelopes from another set of, of printable envelopes in here but I did want to show you guys, this is also from a build embellishment set. You see that, the gold foiling? You know how I've always used the mink foil for that? Well, I did purchase some of this Sizzix foil. I'll link it down below. This one is, is uh, what are they called it? Uh, gee, let's see. My works with 3D adhesive, uh, ideal for cold foiling techniques. So you know how I do my glue stick, where I take and I put my glue stick around the edges. This foil is easier to use in the mink, where you can press it down onto it, and then you lift it up, and then you've got this beautiful distressed foiling. 
uh, on there. So I do like this and I'm going to link it down below for you guys. If you want to check it out, I'll put several sources as best I can. Um, but yeah, in case you've been wondering, I do, I do like it. So there's three colors. There's like a rose gold, there's silver, and then there's gold. It does work with my glue stick technique. So I did get that. Um, and what else? Was there anything else new I was going to show you? Okay. So there are three different things that are going to be part of this new set of templates. There's going to be... Uh, again, thinking about, you know, I take, it, I take into consideration your all's uh, suggestions and ideas and wishes. And the Basically Amazing, it was a, um, it brought out a lot of ideas of ways to do things better. And it's a huge system. And I like it that it's a system. I like that part of it. But I wish I would have broke it down a little bit even more than what it is. So it's like a five part system. They basically amazing is. So you've got your foundations, you've got your add-on photo mats, you've got your add-on scrap journal, you've got your add-on decorative edges. I liked having it separated out like that, but I wish I would have separated it out even more because it's a huge set of templates and it's an investment, right? I mean, it's, it's, it, each component costs money, obviously. And, um, you know, like I could have made the foundations more affordable if I would have broke it out a little bit better. I could have made the add-on scrap journal more affordable if I would have broke it out a little bit better, if that makes any sense. So that's what I was trying to do with this new set of templates. So there's three components to this new set of templates. And there's a portrait version of this new set of templates. There is a landscape version, which I haven't done the covers to this yet. There's a landscape version of this set of templates. And then there is a enhancement pack to this set of templates. So, all right, that's, that's all I'm going to explain about it. How about that? Okay. All right. So I'm just going to do a really quick, I'm just going to do a really quick flip. This, um, this is a digital paper that I will, I have it linked in a video prior to this, but I will link it down below if you want to check it out. So I'm just, I'm scared. There, there might be things in here that were taken out. So this is the, let me show you the side. This is a mock-up and there may be things in here that were taken out. There may be things um, in here from other stuff. So anyway, just bear that in mind. All right. Um, and there might be, I don't know, I've got two new backgrounds as well coming into play with this set of templates. And I don't know if any of them are in here. Ugh. Well, if, if it is, it is. What can I do, right? Okay. That's another thing. The two new backgrounds. I, I'm also going to be coming out with a complimentary pack. A complimentary paper pack for the two new backgrounds. So if you're using, let's say you buy the set of templates and one of the new backgrounds designs, you can buy this complimentary paper pack to go along with using that background design on the templates to kind of supplement while you're creating and it matches beautifully. And what it occurred to me is, uh, sorry, I know this video is so long, you guys, I'm so sorry. I just got so much to tell you. It occurred to me that when I make background designs, um, I don't digitally make background designs. Like I don't, um, I don't get digital images to make my, I always make, well, not always, always, but 99% of the time I make my background designs from scratch, like I paint them or I draw them or I create them somehow with my own two hands, right? I don't use digital images. So it occurred to me that when I do that, I do manipulate these things in the computer and I end up making all these different versions of things until I finally hit on the ones because I like to, I like the background designs on the templates to be in the background. I like them to be part of the background to enhance your project, not to take over your project. So um, it takes a long time sometimes to get to that point. Well, it occurred to me that how fun would it be to have a complimentary paper pack with all of these other versions that I had made and so I did, so I thought, well, that's a good idea. So then I even kind of enhanced that a little bit more. 
I added a few more. I made a few more creations to go with it. And then I took out some things. <laughs> so anyway, there's going to be that as well. So um, this is kind of an experiment. It's kind of a new thing. I thought I will try it and see if you guys like it. You know, see if it's something that, that you guys are like, yeah, that was a good idea. Instead of trying to actually make paper collections, I think this is a really good way to do it my way, but give you guys more options, if that makes any sense. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know what you think about all these things down in the comments. Okay, um, let's do a quick flip, okay? Um, I'm not sure how much I wanna reveal. I really don't know, I don't know. I'll just do a quick flip. I just, I won't show you much, but I will tell you, like there's one of the new photo mats, by the way. I won't show you a whole lot, but I'll just do a quick flip. Um, isn't this pretty paper? Oh, I just love this paper. I just love this paper. Okay. Um, there's gonna be two different binding methods, two different, there are still my binding methods, but two different available in the each set of templates. So, um, but anyway, so cute, so cute. Oh, look, there's um, there's one of my postcards. Oh. All right. So again, try not to show too much here. There's some of the uh, some of the stamps. It's like a little, it's like a little tug. Is that not the cutest? Okay. Oh, there's the big tag. There's one of the little Polaroids. Um, there's one of the big Polaroids, right? Um, and then there's the back. Okay. So that, uh, this is the portrait version. And then also with the portrait version, there's going to be the the elastic binding, the accordion elastic binding. Oops, where's it at? Right here. So you're going to be able to make your journals that away as well, or your journals, or your or your scrapbook albums. So this is a quick mock-up of that. This paper, um, I will link it down below as well. This was um, what paper is this? This is um, Roxy Creations paper. I'll have it linked down below, but I won't do a complete flip through of everything. So that's the portrait version. And then here's the landscape version. Um, and this paper is Tracy Fox. I will have this link down below as well. So yeah, so I'm just going to try not to show you guys too much. Okay. Look at, there's one of the uh, photo mats from the Basically Amazing. Look at that, so cute. There's one of the new photo mats. I feel like I'm missing some things. So cute. I've been having so much fun with this new set of templates. So this, uh, the landscape version is gonna be available separately. So there'll be a portrait version, there'll be a landscape version. They're different, they're same but different. So that when I release the templates, um, it'll make more sense then. So there is the landscape version of that, and then here's the landscape version with the uh, accordion elastic binding. And this, I used a combination of papers um, from Artie Mays and another, another paper collection. I'll have to link that one down below because it's beautiful. It's a great complimentary paper to this. But these are all, all the printable papers are in Etsy. So yeah, I just made a landscape version of like a junk journal. Like this is like a junk journal back here, right? And then this is more like a scrapbook album where these are all loose. They're not attached in, they're just in there with the elastic. So you can move things around and whatnot. So yeah, so there's your quick flip. What do you guys think? Do you like, are you excited? I'm getting so close. So I also wanna know your thoughts on would you like to make the album, instead of me making a whole nother set of prototypes, would you like me to make the album with you guys using the paper collections from a previous video? I'll link that video up here and down below. 
if you want to check it out. So there were, there were a couple Prima paper collections, I think. So let me know what you think, you guys. I'm excited because if you guys want to just go ahead and jump right in, well, we'll do that. I will, I will take the pictures I need out of the mock-ups. You know, I will take some pictures out of here to add to the title sheet. Um, and we'll go from there. And that way I can finish up the guides. I have already started making the guidebook, but I'm, I'm going to make one of the guidebooks with you on camera with you. So that way we haven't done one in a while. And, um, yeah, yeah. So we'll make, we'll make, we'll make, we'll make one on camera this time. Okay. All right, you guys, I think that's all I have for you. I will have everything as best I can linked down below in the description box. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're excited. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I know it was long. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Um, there's something going on with the algorithms. Just make sure you're subscribed and make sure you turn on that bell notification. So it just kind of lets you know. So it'll be in your like subscription feed when I upload a video. And I'm still going to do a flip through of the two journals that I told you guys about that I purchased. One is four years old from Johanna. And then this one is from Tanya. And I also still have, I forgot to tell you guys this, I still have another special project um, collab that I'm doing. And I'm excited about that. And it has something to do with the new set of templates as well. So that is going to be fun, and I think you guys are going to like it. And it could be like a new permanent series that I do. We'll see. We'll see. All right, you guys. <clears throat> That's all I have for you. I'm so excited. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.